Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing potted plants in terms of cactuses. So, let's get going. Alright, this will be a K-1 through video. If this looks familiar to some siblings that might be watching this, it's because we've done it before in the past with older grades. But I'm going to be bumping it down a little bit and trying to make it a little bit easier for the younger ones. So again, we're going to be doing potted plants and in terms of cactuses and it should be fun. So over here I have example of what I've done in the past. And I think this was my example when I taught second grade this project and I did it again for fourth grade. Uh, but what I want to do is try to have kindergarten and first grade try it out because I think it's pretty simple and it looks pretty cool. Uh, we won't go as advanced and three-dimensional as this one right here. We'll be doing an easier version. If you want to do a harder version, um, I will teach you guys along the way how to make it harder for yourself. So anyways, let's get started. So what we're going to need is something to draw with and a piece of paper. And if you want to color it later on, you can. So let's get going. So over here, we have my blank sheet of paper. You want to make sure it's horizontal. And then if I were you, I would do yourself a favor, make sure it's erasable. And what I want to do is just create the table first. And the reason why I'm doing it in pencil is because I want to be able to erase the parts that I don't need. So the table's going to be a little bit lower than the middle part of your paper. I'm going to put it a little bit lower, so maybe like right around here. If you want to make it super straight, you can use a ruler, but I'm just going to freehand it just like that. Now, next step, I do want three potted plants. So in order to do that, I need to do the tops of them and the bottoms of them and then connect them together to make the pot. So this is where you can kind of make it more advanced. Notice how in these pots, the bottom parts are curved to give it more of a three-dimensional feel. So if you're more advanced or in first grade, uh, you can try to do that. If you're in kindergarten, you could try, but it's okay to do this part what I'm about to do right now. And what I'm gonna do to make it a little bit easier for me is I'm just gonna make them straight lines. So I'm gonna do three pots. So I'm gonna do one line here, another line right here, and then my third line right there. So notice how these ones are straight, but these ones are curved. So again, uh, a little bit more advanced, but this one, this way will work just as well. So again, uh, I need the bottoms and the tops of the, par uh, the, the pots. So what I'm gonna do is draw uh, another set of lines right above these ones, but a little bit wider, okay? So this is this wide, so I'm gonna make this one right here, but a little bit wider. So notice how, notice how this one's longer than this line. I'm gonna do another one, maybe right here. And I'll do another one, maybe a little bit lower, right there. So depending on the height, we'll judge how tall the potted plant is. So you want to keep that in mind. Maybe you want the, sh the middle one to be the shortest pot. Maybe you want the left or the right one to be the shortest pot. So make your judgment and see where you want to go from there. Next step, I'm going to connect these lines together. Now again, uh, if you curved them, uh, all you got to do is just connect them the same way. But for me, I did not curve them, so I'm just going to connect them either way, just like this. And as I'm teaching you guys, it looks like this marker is about to run out, so I might have to get a new one in a little bit. Alright, so now I have my pots right here. They do need a little bit of a lip on top, so in order to do that, you just gotta draw rectangles to fit the top. So if I do a small rectangle, it wouldn't work, right? So you wanna make sure you have a little bit of a bigger rectangle just so it fits. So here is my rectangle. We went over shapes before, so you guys should know what a rectangle is. So here's another rectangle, and this one's gonna be a little bit shorter. It's a little bit lower, and there. Ta-da! So now we have the potted plants. Now, what I can do now is make my lines going across to resemble a table and using my line that I did before in pencil. So I'm gonna make sure I go behind my potted plants. And then once I'm done going behind my potted plants, I can go back with an eraser and erase the lines I don't need. So over here I have my eraser. I can erase what's inside these pots. And there, now the pots look great. Now, uh, in order to do cactuses, there's many, many different kinds. As you can see right here, there's big ones, long ones, tall ones. The cool thing about cactuses is that they have like, these really interesting shapes. Um, so let's copy a couple of them. So I'm gonna take, um, let's see, markers instead. Let me choose these really cool green markers. You don't have to, because you're doing pencil or marker, that's fine with me. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is create different types of cactuses. So my favorite cactus to do is just the regular one. The regular one is just this. So you're gonna go in the middle and you're kind of just gonna make like a nice big, it looks like a finger. 
right in the middle of a plant, just like that. And to make sure it looks more like a cactus, you're gonna add arms that are asymmetrical or not the same on both sides. So maybe I'll have one arm down here. So I'm just gonna do one arm like this. And then one arm a little bit taller. And all I gotta do is connect it to the body. So connect it right here. And then maybe I'll connect this one up a little bit higher. And there. And then to make it really look like a, cact look like a cactus, add spikes. Because cactuses are prickly. Now you don't want to make uh, you don't want to make uh, make your spikes too close together. Then it'll look more like fur or velcro. You want to make sure you're spacing them out quite a lot, just like how I'm doing. There we are, and there's my cactus. Um, so we're gonna do the next one. We'll talk about how to, what to do on the inside later on. Um, so my next cactus is I think I'm gonna do this ball over here, and I'm gonna choose a different color. Maybe I'll choose this one right here, the lighter one. So first one off is I'm gonna do a small kind of circle, kind of in there. So I can't complete the circle because the other half of the circle is on the inside. And I'll do a big one. Stop right there. And then maybe I'll do a tiny one right on top. There. Pretty cool, huh? And then after that, I'm just gonna create spikes on them. And again, space them out pretty evenly. We are all right so my last cactus um this one kind of reminds me of mario because of the levels of the towers and how they are built or some other video game like where there's like a couple of like a mario kart sorry i can't talk like how, how it is in mario kart where like there's like those swinging things that go back and forth and try to hit you um so that's what i'm gonna do uh so i'm gonna draw one that looks like this little so tiny balls stacked on top of each other And then maybe in the back, maybe draw a couple more of these fingers, like that. And then you can kind of make them overlapping. And in order to do that, is that you just gotta pretend that there's nothing in front. So I'm gonna go from here, stop, and then continue on the other side so it looks like it's behind it. I'm gonna do that a couple more times, maybe. Maybe one right there, and then maybe another one right there. Ta-da! All right, so that's my cactuses. I have three different ones done in three different greens. Uh, if you want to add patterns on the pots, you can. Um, I can do that later, probably. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now is try to make my cactuses look a little more lively by doing some texture work in the inside. So over here, you can see in mine, I have some like uh, stripes. I got wavy lines. I got like dashed or dotted lines. We talked about that before in the past, so why don't we try those out? So I'm going to use a crayon, and maybe I'll do just plain stripes on my normal cactus, just like so. And I'm going to press decently hard, just like so. There we are, there's my lines. And then I'm going to take a lighter green and shade on top of that. If you have watercolor, uh, it would be pretty cool if you did that. That's how I did it on this one, I think. Or I did it on the background, I believe. There we are. Alright, let me take my dark green again. For my next cactus, maybe I'll do like the dotted line technique just by creating a bunch of lines going away from the circle. That'd be pretty cool. Just like this. And then again with my lighter green. Let's try to find a different lighter green. Oh, this is pretty. And then just shade it in. Alright, last cactus. Take my dark green once again. But this time, let me try to find another green. Uh, looks like I could do wavy lines, Whoop. or zigzag lines. I think it look pretty cool. And then for the circle one, I'll just do a couple random lines here and there. And then I will color this with a different type of green again. All right, this is looking really, really good so far. By the way. All right, all that there's left to do is decorate the background, the floor, and the pots. You can do it any way you want in particular. Um, I can teach you guys how to do the wood floor if you guys would like. So I'll do that right now. So the wood floor is kind of interesting. I'm going to take a brown and just kind of create stripes. I'm going to just add two lines in particular. So one and two. And I'm going to avoid my pots by going behind them. 
after that, you gotta divide them so it looks like planks. So I'm just gonna create random lines, maybe a total of four. So one, two, three, and four. There. So now all I'm gonna do is take a brown crayon and just make random wavy lines all the way across on each plank, just like so. And then once you're done, you can take either a light brown or almost close to a dark orange and color right over it. So let me try that for you guys right now. I found a tan here. Let's try to color it in. There we are. This is looking really good so far. And who says that pots have to be like a terracotta or a tin color? Why don't I have cool pots? So why don't I decorate a little bit? Maybe I'll add like stripes maybe. Maybe I'll add some zigzags. Maybe I'll add some other type of line maybe like pink castle lines. That's kind of cool, right? And then stuff like that. Um, I think I put away this. Back. There we go. All right. So why don't I color the pots pretty interestingly? Some way that I've never done before. So why don't I color this top part light blue? Maybe I'll color this bottom part light blue. That'd be pretty cool, right? Maybe I shall put pink over here. Maybe I'll show that pink right here. Uh, I want to do this color right here, maybe. And then that same color right here. This is looking really good so far. All right. And then I only have a few more blank spots to use. Why don't I use this color? How's this color look? Oh, it's very similar to the one I did already. So how about no? Maybe an orange? Eh, that's okay. I forgot the triangle or the zigzags were already orange. That's alright. And then maybe I'll add an orange on top over here. There we are. Okay. A couple more spots left. Oop. There. And there's another blank spot. I see it. It's like right here. All right, we're almost done. I'm going to do the background now. Hmm, what color do I want? Maybe I'll do this. Be pretty cool. I'll take two colors, hold them together in my hand, and then I'll just make vertical lines going up and down. And I'm going to be avoiding my um, cactuses as best as possible. And hopefully, it'll come out with this cool design here. I'm liking it so far. There we are. Okay, so that is my cactus project for the 2020 remote year. And I think I'm pretty much done. I kind of like it the way it is. I, I like them both equally. So I like this one for certain things and I like this one for certain things. I think it turned out pretty good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.